Welcome to my YouTube channel. And today we are going to see how we can change the chart title uh, dynamically when selected in the uh, slicer. So what I mean by this, so let's say I've just created a region and the sales by region and we have just states. So if I select central, so the chart will filter for the state, uh, all the states. Uh, I will rather do this thing, I would say. So for East region, we have all the states and it's sales. So let's say if I selected East here, so my chart title should be like East. If I select South, then it should be South. So how we can do this? The first approach we have is that when you have a single select filter, actually, it works fine. So let me select this thing. If I select central, then I have a central. If I select east, I have the east. How we can do this thing? So for this, we need to create a measure which is called selected region. And so I have just taken a selected value, which is where the selected value in this uh, slicer. I have selected this, and we have to just add that as a title. So how we can do the change the title? So first, select the chart, then go to generals format and general. Then we have this uh, title here, and you have the text and FX. So if you click on this FX, uh, if I just click this select region, we have already selected. I will just demo how these steps are. And this is how we can change the title. Now, this has been done. Now, the second point actually comes here. Let's select multiple values. Now, my chart disappears because it cannot, it can just throw values as only one selected value, not the multiple values. But we want our title to be dynamically that it should accommodate these conditions as well. So for multi-selection, I have different approach that we have selected. So this is the demo. If you see, East and South are selected. East and South are selected. Now, if I select all, it will throw all the regions are selected. So how we can do this things? So for this, we need to create a measure. And that measure is actually, we can create easily by just clicking on the uh, quick measure actually. Here we have a list of all the direct calculation that we can do here. Concatenated list of values, we need to select this. Then add the region here, whichever the region we want to concatenate and how many numbers we want to calculate. This can be done as uh, based on the business and the type of problem that you're having. Uh, whichever the filter values you have, distinct values, you can have these things. Just add these things here. If I add these things, it will create me a, this kind of a, a huge, I would say, uh, but we should not uh, be taking into this all these things. So we can just manipulate these things as per our convenience. So we have here we have a uh, maximum value that I have four have defined distinct value as the distinct value of the region. So we can distinct value here also, and we can just equal. So what I do, I will just throw an equals to if I just want to remove these things. So this where if distinct value is greater than this, then all regions are selected should be pop up. Okay. So let me have that condition. All region. All regions. Sales by all regions. All regions are just taking as a for time being. Now, what we want? Let's say we select two regions. So we should have this thing also in our place. To first things, we need this thing. Uh, I would say concat function where I will add region selected. The text can be anything. It depends on up to you the how a person wants to create this thing. Then region selected and just give a comma. And then we need to have the closing packet as well since we have an open tab. Now this looks good. We do not have anything error also. Then I will just rename it just to make it since I have already done that thing. Let's rename it to remake for a time. Now, if I just select these things, I will go here. What I have done earlier, I will just remove these things to make it simple. I have, will go the same steps that I will do. We have created this measure right now. Select that measure, all regions are there. Now, if I just select central region, the central will pop up. If I just select central and east and it will give. So this looks more comfortable when you have the multiple values are selected actually. And you can control that how many values maximum you need to throw it. Let's say you have 10, 20 values also are there in the filter. You do not want to display all of them. You just want to highlight which are the important ones of three or four values. And you can also have the original one with the like, et cetera or something like that. So that can be modified with in this if else condition. So hope you like this thing and how to implement dynamically chart titles and follow for more Power BI updates here. And I will try to, uh, do a, some other problem statement which are day to day life. They are difficult to implement and try to solve as uh, easiest manner. So this is how the dynamically selected titles can be done. Thank you so much.